Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, reviewing often rare and exotic whiskeys. I consider still this Jack Daniels 10-year-old rare and exotic. Now, there is a 12-year-old. This is batch two. We have 45, sorry, 48.5% um, alcohol, 97 proof. Batch two. So, batch one was actually 2022, the first time in 100 plus years Jack Daniel actually put an age statement on a product. Jack Daniel's been doing a lot lately, all right? So, they brought out after what, uh, I don't know how many years, 120 or whatever, Gentleman Jack. It's like, oh, we have something new. There used to be the green label of um, Jack Daniel's, maybe there still is. And then they started playing around with a rye, and it's like, oh, wow. And then they have now um, the barrel proof, um, single barrels. We have we used to have 64.5% for some reason for the last six to eight months. It's now been 62.5%. Oh, talking about us over in Europe. As you probably know, this is a 700 milliliter bottle. I'm sure this ruffled some feathers. When this first came out in 2022, it's like, oh, yay, 700 milliliter. They're going to send it to Europe. I haven't seen a bottle over here. This is secondary market. I paid 215 euros for this. Um, there is a place over here actually called um, Jack. What is it called here? Jack Safe is what it's called. Jacks minus hyphen safe dot com. And um, $3.99. $3.99. It used to be $4.99. I, I just see it's on sale for $3.99. And actually, well, I did a bottle share of this. Um, this was actually brought to me by Miss Canada. Um, she's a nice lady over here in Germany. I got the old Forester 10-year-old um, 1924 from her. I've gotten a few other things from her. So her and husband import bottles over to Europe. They pay the they pay the um, the excise tax, the um, the VAT, all the shipping and handling. So they they take over containers and they put. Um, bottles in the containers and they do that and um i think it's great for me i'm getting things i never would have gotten and i know her and she gives me a halfway decent price on the the bottles that she brings over here and that's 215 come on i mean even the states sometimes people are paying more for that my question of the day is going to be literally what would i rather have the old jack daniels 100 bottled bond 50 percent 48.5. Why didn't you do 50%? I just don't get that. Or as I just mentioned, the single barrel with, I still have the old version with 64 point, 64.5% ABV. Now, um, Jack Daniels is, has, has been, at least for me in the last 20 years, a powerhouse of innovation. When I visited the distillery two years ago in the summer of 2022, I was amazed at how great the tour was. I still have fond memories of that. My tour guide was passionate. She was informative. Um, standing and set in front of the column stills where they gushed out all the whiskey, the new make, the white dog at that moment, going in the warehouses, um, doing the tasting. I mean, they did a very, very fine job walking through the entire distillery from place to A to place B, seeing um, the car charcoal filtration. Everything that's going on in there was great. This is nothing different than this or this, well, according to the mash bill. All right, so we still have exactly the same mash bill as everywhere else. Nothing's different here, um, which is great. So... Um, 80% corn, 12% malted barley, 8% rye. That's it. All right. So they basically do the rye mash bill and they do the Tennessee whiskey mash bill. And they let it set for 10 years. Now, I see, I see this um, a little bit as an indicator. That's what I want to see, at least, for age statements and bourbons coming back. Now, we had the, um, the era of no age statements in scotch. That is slowly receding and more and more age statements are popping up. Now, we used to have whiskeys, at least in Scotland, when I started over eight years ago, we had 14, 16, 18, 20 plus whiskey, year old whiskeys. Today, we have eight, 10, 12, 14. Oh, it's a six, it's 15 year old. Oh, it's expensive now. Um, 
everything's gone down a little bit, but they're still there. Now in Bourbon, we're actually getting age statements where we hadn't, where we didn't have them before. I mean, the Eagle Rare ten-year-old, um, hard to beat for thirty-five dollars over here at least. Um, Knob Creek twelve-year-old, hard to beat. There's so many good things out there at the moment with age statements. Write down your favorite age stated bourbon. That interests me. What is your favorite age stated bourbon out there? Now, to be very honest, it might be the Jack Daniels 10 year old for me. When it knows this, it's got so much going on. I have red berries, I have brown sugar, I have tobacco leaves, I have oak spice. This is an A nose. I mean, this just, oh, I, um, Breaking Bourbon, I love them. Um, they wrote, this is, this is their, this is tasting notes, okay? Red raspberry, as if there's another color for raspberry. Banana, never get banana on my Jack Daniels. I know people that do, but I don't. Stewed apples, cinnamon, sweet charred oak, excellent. Excellent is not a tasting note, <laughs> but I agree. It's just a nose. Excellent. This is so good, people. If you can get your hands on a pour, do. If you can get your hands on a bottle, do. Now, I'm going to be in the States at the end of October. End of October At the end of August, I'm going to hunt for the 12-year-old. And I hear everyone going, good luck, Jason. I'll be in three different, I'll be in four different states. Uh, one of them is going to be Virginia. Mm, you never know. You can get lucky. I'm going to be in a few different stores, different places. Uh, just looking, hunting, seeing. Who knows? Who knows what I can find? Um, but that's going to be on one of the top of my list of things to look for. Um, the single barrel barrel proof. Now that has more banana. I finally got a banana. It has a little bit more of a ooh, sassafras. I'm going to use the word sassafras. Black tea note in comparison. This is... I cannot express how good that is. Now, I, I had one bottle of the one under proof that was fantastic. This is, I just opened it up for this one. This is good. Um, I said in my German review, you know when you drive your car, and I, my car is, what, eight years old and um, has 100,000 miles now um, under on the odometer, and um, I, I'm happy still but then you get in a very nice car and you go oh <laughs> ah hmm it's no longer that nice is it and that's what happens when i compare the two of these this is like top of the line fully equipped i'm just gonna go to bmw audi mercedes this is great tesla whatever and uh this is just your standard car that gets you from a to b and usually it's enough. This has a little bit more horsepower, doesn't it? Mm, also good. All right, watch me gush. Watch me woo over this bottle here because it is so great. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes older than the 10 years of age. Now, sometimes the sweetness disappears if it's in the oak too long. Not here. The sweetness is tamed, but it's there. The oak is tamed, and it gives a complexity and depth. According to Breaking Bourbon, if you compare the 12-year-old, the 10-year-old, the batch 2 versus the batch 1 back then in 2023, um, the 12-year-old has less oak than the 10-year-old. Uh, um, this is so freaking good. Um, very, very nice. You got the cherry, you got the plums, you got the prunes, you got the cinnamon, you got the tobacco, you have the oak, you have the full package, and it just lasts and lasts and lasts. The aftertaste is just so long. Um, very, very, very nice. A little bit of leather there as well. Good, 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 good. Solid A. I do not give A's lightly. A. Value for money. 
Now, I paid, as I said, 215 uh, euros for this D. Now, if I could go out there and find it for $80, um, I would give it a definite C, maybe even a C+. Plus. Um, while searching for the 12-year-old, I'm willing to pay 150 Would I pay 200 for it? Probably not. Because I do have to take it to Germany, I do have to pay the excise tax on it and alcohol tax and so on when I enter the country, and so it's going to be a few. It's going to be a little bit of money on, as well involved in that. But still, this is this is good stuff. Wow! Just as a comparison, the one hundred proof. It's good. Nothing to write home about, but good. Um, and the single barrel barrel proof. Hmm. This has a little bit more proof. Sixty four point sixty four point five percent. And yet it's still constrained. It's still not tamed but confined in a nice package that is doable. I thought the 58.5% would be too low. It's just right. They did everything right there. Thank you very much, Jack Daniels. If anyone out there still says, I'm not going to drink Jack, Jack Daniels. I like real whiskey. I don't do Jack and Coke. <clears throat> Get away from the gentleman Jack. Get away from the old number seven. Find a bottle that looks like this. Take a look at the single malt that they've done here with the Oloroso sherry cast. Fabulous. Um, the, tr the triple mash, uniquely good. And the 10, and I'm sure the 12-year-old, just fantastic in the flavor profile. Am I happy? Yes. Am I going to give this an A? Yes. At retail, would I give it a C for value for money? Yes. And I'm looking forward to other things. I read, shh, I read that Jack Daniels, Brown Foreman, <clears throat> might be actually contemplating this is going to be an annual release of their age series to actually vary the age. So we might go up from 11, from 10 to 12, and 12 up to 11 and 13, or 12 and 14. <gasps> oh, wow. I mean, talk about that would be fantastic. I hope it doesn't go down. Could be now 8 and 10 in the future instead of 10 and 12, but there's going to be age statements on a limited release of bottles. How many bottles did they release? Is this a 5,000 bottle release? Is this a 50,000 bottle release? Is it a 500,000 bottle release? I don't know. That would be something I really want to know as well, just to see how why are they so rare and far and few in between. What is your favorite age stated bourbon? And if that's too difficult for you, what is your favorite Jack Daniels product? Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, and telling others about this crazy guy over here tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Bye-bye.